is clearly someone good for that. Oh, Tatum in his bag against Chris Boucher. Trying to shake him. Tatum drops it. You have to dunk that when Tatum dumps that one off. Filthy Jason Tatum going to work. Welcome to Celtics post game live. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics with a win against this Raptors team, 105 to 96. And this Raptors team hanging around the entire time for this matchup. Eddie, how were the Celtics able to pull away? They just kept grinding, kept grinding. They didn't quit, and I thought they did a great job of, of guarding the paint at times and, make, and forcing Toronto to take threes. Not a great three point shooting team. They end up being fourth, 32. 12%, you know, and, and some of those shots late in the fourth quarter, I thought they did a, got a good job of guarding the initial defense mm -hmm. and then closing out on the three and then securing that possession with the rebound. Yeah, I was surprised, though, that this Celtics team, they didn't dominate mm -hmm. early on in this matchup, knowing that that Raptors defense just isn't that good. 21st in the NBA. However, Drew Holiday with an aggressive matchup against this Raptors team. He's with Abby Chin after this win. Drew, I'm going to steal a word from Jason Tatum. You came out ultra aggressive from the jump tonight. Why? Um, just felt like it was needed, you know. Um, I just took the opportunities that were given to me and uh, really just tried to be aggressive on both ends of the floor. Basketball is a game of runs. How are you so good at stopping those like you did two times here in the fourth? Yeah, I think uh, the versatility that we have on defense, um, a lot of athleticism, a lot of smart guys, good character guys, but I think we, we think the game. So switching it up defensively from zone to man, I think stopped their transition points. And uh, also, we took great offensive shots so that they can just get out and transition. Yeah, how clutch is Derek White? Man, he's an all-star. I think the things that he, do, that he does, um, a lot of times goes unnoticed. But the way that he plays, the way that he carries his team, um, especially with JB out tonight and, and hit a big shot there in the corner, um, yeah, that's what D. White does. And you talk about that versatility, all five starters in double figures tonight. And it felt like at one point each of you just kind of took turns taking over. How important is that and what does that tell you about this group? Yeah, we got a good balance. Um, we kind of know when to find our spots and when we can go. I think the end of that second quarter, maybe it was the third quarter, JT started going off and ended up with 19 at, at, the, at the end of that quarter. But uh, I think just different spots, man. We. We're really good at trying to figure out, or not trying to, but figuring out when we can go and, and let that person go and, and, and start getting buckets. So. I'm glad you got to go tonight, Drew. Thank you very much. Thank you. Congrats. Drew Holiday with a season-high 22 points in tonight's matchup, six rebounds and also seven assists. Drew Carter and Scal joining us live now from Toronto. And Scal, you heard Drew Holiday tell Abby right there, with him being aggressive in tonight's matchup, it was very much needed without Jalen Brown out there on the floor. How did Drew Holiday set the tone that usually Jalen Brown does for this team? Yeah, I mean, I think that they were conscious of that, right? Like, how are we going to start this game? We know JB is a guy that does so well in the first quarter. So who's going to be the guy that picks up the slack? And I like the way that Drew Holiday was aggressive. As I was walking to set this thing up and sit here, I was thinking, I, you know, you always wonder if a team can sustain like an injury in a playoff, right? And I'm like, man, you see what Derek White can do, and you see what Drew Holiday could do, and Al Horford today. And, like, we're pretty deep, and we have guys that could – raise their level when needed. And what's amazing, guys, is you think about the Celtics and their top options. They're the Wings. They're the Jays. You look at the box score, Derek White, 22. Drew Holiday, 22. They're top two scorers. From the backcourt, which is known for its defense, they brought it tonight on both ends. Yeah, those, uh, I think both teams are going to try to take Tatum out. And, you know, when Brown's here, maybe they're thinking, okay, we're going to double-team Tatum everywhere he goes. And I just thought those guys took advantage of it. And I, I like their mindset during this game. Yeah, the players, <clears throat> the players played well, uh, all five starters in double figures. But I think we got to give credit to Joe Mazzulla because there were runs that were happening throughout this game that I, I thought that the Toronto Raptors were making, and he called some timely timeouts. He called them right on time, right at the right time, uh, regrouped, came out, executed out of the timeout, and then also I thought that going to zone, understanding that this team was just trying to pound you in the paint. They're not a great three-point shooting team. If you look, they only had, what, they were four of 32 from three, 12 and a, uh, 12, 12 and a half percent from, from the line. So 
I thought he did a great job. So we're also seeing not only players step up, but we're also seeing the coach step up as well. Scout, with this Raptors team not being so great defensively, I was a bit surprised that the Celtics team, they weren't able to take more advantage of that team on defense and really going out there and scoring a bunch of points. Why was this game so close? Because I don't think that we attacked the rim with force. We th I thought we, we shot a lot of pull-up jump shots, even like two feet in the paint to a floater. I just thought, like, it, Tatum was the guy that set the tone. If you just watch this game, like, he went to the rim like you were supposed to attack the rim. And especially, they don't have shot blocking, especially the way the refs were calling this game. So our one mistake today was not identifying how hard we had to go to the cup today. Outside of that, I thought we shot it well, we shared it well, but I just didn't think when we played inside that arc that we played with the force that was necessary. Now Celtics did shoot 25 free throws, made 23 of them. I guarantee you, though, when we get on the bus, Joe Mazzulla is going to look at us and say, us two, and say, make or miss league. Of course they lost. They shot four of 32 from three because that's his favorite thing. He loves throwing that back at people now. Because that was the, the common refrain is, oh, if you make your threes, you win. If you don't make your threes, you sure. lose. Joe Mazzulla is going to be like, oh, we didn't do anything right. I guess they just missed their threes because he likes to likes oh. to joke like that. They can't. Like, Eddie House, you should come down here and try to get some run, man. They can't shoot at all. Oh, my goodness. Like, they haven't been that bad, actually. Like, I'm talking like <clears throat> I don't even expect wide open ones to drop. It, it, mm. You're like, whoa, I can't believe they made it. That's how I was when you shot and missed. I'd be like, dang. Eddie House just missed. Hey, listen, so. but let's give let's give Toronto credit because they had every chance to, to mail it in at some points. Mm. It looked like we yeah. were about to extend it, but they competed. They stayed in the game, even though they weren't knocking down their shots. They stayed attacking. So got to give them credit. But uh, ultimately, the Celtics prevailed. I also love this new bond that you guys have, Scal and mm. Drew. Uh, Drew being Scal's favorite nephew, favorite part of the oh, broadcast, yeah. favorite part of the broadcast yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like if I had an older brother that like I'm all kind of close. <laughs> with and then he had a kid like that's <laughs> drew that's like my boy man like i don't mess with all the little ones none of that little nephew none yeah. of that like i tortured him when he was a kid and now oh that's my, my dog Scal scal's the guy who maybe when i wasn't old enough to go to certain stores and buy certain <laughs> products maybe scal would hook it up yeah hey, that's hey it. drew that's what we go have. grab me one of them oh <laughs> my God. Look, i love how this give him a little sip right, <laughs> give him a little sip. I love how this relationship is blossoming right before our eyes. Thanks so much, guys.